everyone, welcome back to Maya's Life. So, if you don't know already, I did um, part one of this video, um, and I'll link it down below. So basically, I'm showing you what I've got in my road trip kit bags, um, and I showed you the first bag in the last video, and there was a system for it. So, you need to go watch that video first, otherwise you won't have a clue what's going on. And then, yeah, so in this video I'm showing you the second bag and the other two things that I have. So I have this which I have shown in a previous video before, which I'll also link down below, but I'm showing you again in case you haven't watched that. The second bag, and then these, I'll show you afterwards. I had a cool idea for that. I'm also going to show you out of this bag what was actually on these principles, and I'm going to be showing you a subject, a specific subject, so this is food, so I'll show you that now. So, in the last video I showed you um, the principle system, and all the, the pencil cases, what you're going to need for it, stuff like that, and some fun tips. Okay, so I'll have, I've got a few more tips and tricks in this video. So this is sort of a tips and road trip bag, or what I've got in it. But so, for the topic that I'm going to be showing you what was in these little packs, principal packs, I'm using the food topic. And basically, in each pack, I've made sure to include some Linguascope, so that does lots of different languages. I picked, um, I actually picked English, but you know, so match the food, find them in the word search, on the scramble. Then there's also some match the food to the pictures, or label them. Also got a dot to, some dot to dots. I tried to do the same for everyone. Got some colouring, and then at the end I've added like some word searches and some crosswords. So those are, were in that bag in the last video, but I'm now showing you this bag. So the first tip or trick is basically don't get too many puzzle books. I would say choose up to five because you don't want to have loads of puzzle books. You don't want to end up having more puzzle books than actual clothes. So I'd say choose about up to five. I'm not sure how many I've picked, probably up to five as well. Or have four, so that's fine. So I picked my four activity books. Now they could be, because those are more puzzly, you could choose some educational books. And all of these are actually quite educational. So I've got some easy science. So I've got science, easy science, and some English, easy English. And then I also have a creative writing book. So those are those for my puzzle books. Then also you can pick, pick all your games. Now, you, you might not want to put them in straight away because you might want to use them throughout the year. So I've not picked mine yet, except this one. This is a great thing to have in a car. It's this hangman. Just remember, make sure you get a pen and a rubber. Unless, like mine, the pen has a rubber on the end. You can either pull it out or use it like that. I don't think it's supposed to come out, but, you know. Oh, and I can't get it back in. Oh, yeah, I can. So, yeah, basically... If you don't know how to do hangman, you basically have to guess the word and then, you know, stuff like that. It's really easy. So, yeah. Also, fidgets are also a good entertainment in the car. So, I think, I think mine are actually up there. So, you might want to pick up to... Oh, no, they're over there. Oh, I think I put them back in the fidget box. But you can pick, pick probably up to five again and then take those as well. Um, they're in there, but... They're all mixed up now, so I can't remember which ones I picked. So I'll pick near the time. So that is the bag. Now I'm going to show you these things at the side. Um, so I've given you a couple of tips there. The next tip is if you have a kid in the car or just something, or just if you're going to be eating in the car, I recommend a portable bin. This is perfect. And all you need, literally you could use a cereal container, but I've basically got just got this little silver box and I've added a bin liner in it, I've tied it at the bottom, you just have to tie it at the bottom and it's simple like that and then also add an extra bin bag at the bottom so you have one for the way back or just if you need one in general then also just to make it fun and cute I've put on it a portable bin and it's called Gary the Garbage Can with a smiley face so yeah I just think that's a really good idea it's just a, trip, uh, a tip 
So you might want to put a seat belt around it in the middle seat and then so once I've finished my apple, stick the apple core in there. Then once it's full, you just untie the bottom, take it, tie it up, chuck it in a normal bin. It's really easy and it's just a good idea and then you're not getting mess around the car so you don't want crisps on the floor or apple cores floating around everywhere or chocolate bar wrappers floating around like yeah just in a portable bin trust me it'll help you one day so yeah that's what my um one other one that is one of my tips and then i have these babies now i just thought this was a fun idea so i actually made lanyards for me and my grandparents now i don't they're a bit daft they're a bit weird they're a bit strange but i just thought of making them and i thought they were pretty cute so you could probably wear them in the car wear them sometimes at the hotel and yeah so they're really cute so on the back i've added some seaside themed stickers so that's my grandma's that's me and that's my grandpa now on them basically have the pi a picture of them the name and surname age and who you're with so for me for example i have a picture of me my name is maya I'm not going to say my surname so when i show you i'm not going to i'm going to cover that bit up um i'm age 11 and i'll be with my grandpa my grandma and grandpa which is sue and jeff also not going to say their surname so i'm basically going to show you so i'm firstly going to show you me because you know you know me you know me better so that is mine basically that is me that is mine and um, i've also got a different lanyard for each so for mine i've got an m and m one okay this one okay this one's my grandpa's <laughs> so that one's my grandpa's and he's just got a random whatever that says cogs and my grandma's just got a plain black lanyard and the that's what it looks like so yeah they're just really cute fun idea also the next tip have a place to put them have a dedicated shelf or tray or box to put them in because you're gonna need it aren't you because like you don't just have one bag over there one bag over there lanyard over there and the bin in there like you need them ready for your road trip and out of the way on a shelf in a basket in a box in a tray whatever you prefer you just need them out of the way so i'm now going to show you where i keep mine i personally would pick a shelf which is what i have done so so up here is where i keep them so i'm firstly going to take this one and put it at the back so i'm going to pop you up here So, simply going to place that there. Better place it that way, because otherwise it's going to fall. Then, take your other bag and slip it there. Then, I am going to take the bin. And then, finally, the lanyards will just go on top. Yeah, those are basically my tips. I really hope they were useful and helpful um, for in the future. And of course, when we do go in August, yeah, I know that sounds crazy. It's only March 13th. It's on the 20th of August. It's on the 24th. Oh my gosh. I've planned so. I've definitely planned in advance. That is April, May, June, July. That's five months away. I'm crazy. Guys, like crazy. <laughs> I do like to plan and prep in advance. Um, and I, of course, I will definitely film while we're there. I will do a room tour. I will film some of the activities we do. Um, there's a pleasure beach. I'll film on the rides. We're just going to have a brilliant time. And we are staying in a premier room. So, yeah, I really hope you enjoy this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, and hit that bell. And I'll see you in another video. See you soon. Bye, guys.